Father's Day to our lovely husbands that will be celebrating their uh, Father's Day tomorrow. Glory be to God for keeping them alive. So guys, my name is Faith Variety Space. If today is your first time of coming to my space, you're highly welcome. If you have not watched my videos, if you've not missed anything yet, after now, please grab your popcorn, watch my previous videos, leave a comment, thumbs up, okay, and share my videos. So, today's video, we'll be appreciating our father because it's not easy to be the head of the home, okay? So, I have with me here one of my beautiful and sincere sister. She's an engineer anyway. So, madam, please, can you introduce yourself? Hello, good afternoon everybody. I have to speak up so they can hear you. Alright, good afternoon everybody. Good afternoon to the whole world. Yeah. Um, my name is Engineer Mrs. Omoke Nenna Merit. Yeah. Um, she is my very good friend, a sister, a wife. Of course. She's my wife. <laughs> yes. So. Funny enough, I'm married to their state. Okay. Yes, she's my wife. <laughs> so, and um, she has been doing a good job. Her posts have always been wonderful, so please, if, if you've not been watching, please do where to go to her page. There are very educative posts on her page. God bless you as you do. So guys, you've heard from her. She's an engineer. She's a wonderful woman, a mother, a home builder. That's what she is, okay? So today, we want to discuss about Father's Day. You know, previously, we've been doing Mother's Day. And I think fathers, they're always angry. Each time they said we are doing Mother's Day and they're not always in remembrance. So, but today, tomorrow, God has remembered them. We'll be celebrating them. Okay? So, there is no other best person to celebrate them except you, the wife, the children, and the rest of the family. But I think the best people that can celebrate this are husbands is with the wife and the children. What do you think about that? Actually, we are the wife, the children. In fact, you, you, every wife is the first daughter of the husband. That is right. So uh, you take your husband as your next father. Because if the father is not there, your husband automatically becomes your father. Yes. Even when your father is there, once you have been, you've been given out, if your hand has been given out in marriage, you automatically have two fathers. Of course. So uh, they are wonderful people in our lives. So we cannot uh, underestimate the fact that they need to be highly celebrated yes we need to appreciate all their good works all their encouraging words all their support to those who have not been supportive uh, we pray that the lord will help them to do all they need to do to be the good head yes. that the lord has positioned them to be that is right Thank you. so and there's another thing i want to say here you know fathers they are really trying to those that are real fathers because it's not all fathers that you can call father you understand what i mean what i mean is that there are some fathers that don't take up their responsibilities in their homes but to those that always take their responsibilities in their homes we really appreciate them okay they are the men that foot our bills they pay our house rent they they pay the children's school fees they pay attention to our needs so i think these men are, are to be respected they are to be celebrated okay you as a wife, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter if it doesn't matter the kind of gifts you shower to your husband. Whatever you have to showcase to tell your man that I really appreciate what you've been doing in this home. I really appreciate your hard work. You do it even if it's handkerchief, but just make sure you present something to that man. But I think for me, the best gift you can give to a man is respect. You adore that man. You there's some women they don't know how to respect them, their husbands. So in this video please try and respect your husband try and, and, and acknowledge their hard work you know encourage the men sometimes they need encouragement there's so many issues on their head as the head of the home you know men are, are like ministry in ministry in ministry work you must have a rules and regulations so as a man as, as a resp responsible man you must have a rules and regulation if not the home will be scattered everybody will go their own way everybody will do their own things you understand but when you have a rules and regulation as a man in the house, things will work out fine. What do you think about that? Of course, you are actually on the right track. As a man in the house, it's not, yes, they are the head, but without the neck, hmm. the head cannot really function. That is real, that is it's right. supposed to be. Yes. So for every good head to achieve, to, to fulfill its purpose, he has to 
be in alignment with a very good neck. Mm -hmm. So please, to we the um, we that are supportive, we are the women. So we need to do our best for our husbands, our fathers to be the best we want them to be. So, and I know if they have not been doing that, God will help us to do what we have to do. Amen. So that is it. God will really help us. It's not easy. Okay. I know sometimes this mess, sometimes they give us headache. Let's just be sincere. Most times they give us headache. But in this celebration, please let's try and celebrate them. Let's try, try and respect them. Let's try in your own little way, you know, in your own little way, try and show them love. Try and, and showcase them tomorrow. Tomorrow is Father's Day. Just take them out. Say some some women say that it's only men that have the right to take take your man out. Take your man and celebrate your man. Showcase your man. It's your man. It's your husband. You know, Father's Day. We wish you guys long life and prosperity. We wish you guys more open doors. We wish you guys good health. Because, because what do you have in your heart to wish this man? Okay. For the men all over the world. Your you. voice need to okay. be heard. Sorry. <laughs> For our men all over the world, our husbands, our fathers, yes. I want to wish you, just as my sister rightly said, good health and uh, the ability to take your rightful place. That is right. For those who have not entered into their rightful place, is it finance? Is it in the in the financial aspect of it? Is it in your career? Mm -hmm. It is my wish for you that um, you will actualize your purpose. You will not be hiding in your place of responsibility. That is right. So for those who are still striving to achieve what the Lord have in package for them, it is my wish that you will be alive to fulfill purpose. You will not leave what you are supposed to do mm -hmm. for your children to do mm -mm. when you have left this world. I pray for you that the Lord will help you to achieve your aim, Amen. the purpose which God created you Amen. will be actualized in good health. That is right. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, if you have been an abusive father, please, I will also plead your indulgence that uh, you retract your steps mm -hmm. so that there will be no reason why your children will not be happy celebrating you. That is right. So please, if there is anything you have been doing that you know that your family member has been complaining about, they are not okay with it. I am not saying that you should not discipline your children. Mm -hmm. Please do in the Lord. Discipline mm -hmm. your children in the Lord. Love them. Love them. Correct them in love. Correct in love. Yes. But don't be don't be too hostile. And too harsh. Don't be too hostile, please. Yes. Don't be a father that when we hear that you are coming home, we try to hide ourselves under the bed. Mm. Please show love. That is good. For love covered multitude oh, of sin. sin. And I bet you. When you handle your family with love, they will always be looking forward to see daddy coming back home. Hmm. Not when they hear that daddy's class. Everybody's was, running away. He's even coming back to, to play again. Please, <laughs> be that father that your children are eager to see hmm. at home. Hmm. And I pray that you will live long to reap the fruits of your labor in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Father's Day to all of you. Happy we Father's you Day all. to God all the you. wonderful men yeah. in the whole world. Happy you. Father's Day to my husband. Happy Father's Day to my sis husband. Yes. Happy Father's Day to every man to that will come across this video. Happy yes. Father's Day to our church fathers. So, we wish you guys good. As you have rightly heard from her, please, if you know the area you are not doing well, correct yourself we love you we love you the wife loves you the children loves you can't do without you guys you know now you know how we love you guys so please start loving us you can correct somebody with love yeah. you can correct somebody with soft voice yeah. it's not until you shout it's not until you shout i myself i don't like somebody shouting at me you can't shout at me as your wife i'm not your child i am your wife okay so you give me that respect as i also respect you so that is it. So happy Father Father's Day to all of you, to all of you guys. We love you guys. We wish you well. So as you can see, we are coming from a women program. So we decided to share these thoughts. So see you guys. In case you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. Okay. Till I see you in my next video. Bye. God bless you. <laughs>